Good eye, mates, and happy Australia Day. This is Chef Craig Verver here, and tonight we're making tuna pot pie. Craig wanted to celebrate Australia Day, and I thought we would make an Australian recipe, but Craig really wanted to make tuna pot pie, so that's what we're making tonight for Australia Day. Craig, can you tell us any facts about Australia? You see, Australia Day is way down under. They will have kangaroos, koalas, bandicoots, platypuses, crocodiles, echidnas, wombats, and emus. And what else? There's a Looney Tunes character named after an Australian. The Tasmanian Devil. That's right. Tasmanian Devils. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us anything else about Australia? You see, Australia has more Vegemite. Yes, that's right. Vegemite which someone sent us last year, and Craig likes Vegemite on toast, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I think we've kind of forgotten about that lately. Have you had any lately? No. We're going to have to find our Vegemite and get that out again, because that's a, a healthy addition to your day. All right, so without any further ado, we will get started on this pot pie. Oh, first of all, Craig, I need you to get the, I need you to get the pie pan down for us. I think there should be a red, is there a red one? Um, well, here, see that? Open the cupboard door. That one right there, let's see about that. I'm not sure if this is, is there another one? I think we had a bigger one. Hmm, maybe it's downstairs. Hey, there is one. Hey, there is one. I found this pie pan there. Okay. Look. Holy macro. I'm curious. Where'd you find it at? It's in the sink. Oh no, that's we want one that looks like a pie pan though. Let's see. So I found our pie pan. So this one we won't need. Yeah. So first thing we have our pie pan. And we have some Pillsbury Ready Pie Crust. So all we have to do is open this up and put it in our pie pan. It comes with two, so we'll have one for the bottom and one for the top. I think you can unroll that in the pie pan. Oh no, it's tearing up. Okay, hold on, I'll help you. Here. Yeah, it can be a little tricky. There we go. Sometimes there's little places that stick. We have to spray it. No, we actually don't need to spray it. The pan. I've never had a pie crust stick in the pan. We got it. Now, the first two ingredients we're going to put in, we are going to be putting in two cans of cream of celery soup. And as I've mentioned before, I like to use Campbell's. Here's a spatula. I kind of see why Olivia is yelling up there. Whoa. Turns out <laughs> Libby's actually singing, not yelling. Libby has discovered the YouTube channel, The Crosbys. I'll do the rest of it. So you can just do this, Craig. You don't have to bang it. So, the Crosbys is a YouTube channel. And the little girl has been singing since she was about three, I think. And her name is Claire. They've been on the Ellen Show. And if you saw them on the Ellen Show, the daughter and the dad saying, you've got a friend and me from Toy Story. Anyway, Livy discovered that channel and she's obsessed with it. She loves watching their videos. Well, now, we need to open our tuna can. We have one can of solid white albacore tuna which is the kind that last time Joe thought tasted fishy. And at first I thought so, but really the more I ate it, I, I think it, when the tuna is really hot, I feel like you get more of that fishy taste. Craig loved it. He ate... Yeah, <laughs> He's so loud. You ate almost all of that, the leftovers of that two noodle casserole, didn't you? I ate some, and I think Craig was not too happy no, with no. me. Put that into the sink. There you go. Because after you've licked something, you don't cook with it anymore. So once you dump that bag of peas into the bowl. I don't have a lot of ingredients that I put in this. I use a bag of peas, 
a can of tuna, Chew. two cans of cream of celery soup, or whatever kind of soup you'd like. You could use cream of Cheese. chicken, cream of, yep. Dump that in there. We'll add it. That was just the rest of it. We're going to add a cup of, another cup of cheese, so a total of two cups of cheese. There we go. Okay, I'll put that in there. And we'll just put this away. And then we'll get our tuna. Just go ahead and pour that in there. So we've got all of our ingredients in this mixing bowl. And then let's kind of break that tune up a little bit. You know, the solid white tuna is not solid white. I actually am seeing quite a few like brown spots in it, which is I think what makes it taste more fishy. But the last can was like that too, and it was okay. Craig, why don't you get back over here? You're not really in the video. Stir it. Yes, go ahead and stir it. We'll get it all mixed up good. And you know what? While you stir that up, I'm going to let the dogs in because they keep barking out here. Okay. Let me see what, what are we looking like? Oh, that's looking good. All right, so we have it all mixed up. I'm going to tilt it toward you so you can see. And that's what it looks like. And then we just are going to, I'm going to have Craig spoon that right into this pie shell, into the crust. Oh In the meantime, I will get this one out. And I'll unroll it for you. It's, it's a little tricky. Coincidentally, this this, uh, this is Pillsbury pie crust. Can I help you make this, Papa? Sorry. Maybe you can put in one spoon of it, okay? All right. We'll bring it over here so you can help a little bit. Did you not make it yet? Well, we got it made, but maybe you can put a little bit in here. All right, Libby. Well, you are so having so much fun playing with your dolls. It's okay. All right, let's let her. Got it well, yeah, that one's going to have to be put on top. That's a little bit hard. But we'll let you help pinch the crust. Here, do you want to put in this there? In? Me. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm in Florida. Not... Yes, that's what time we get to Florida. What about lunch when in Missouri? Well, yes, we'll eat at the St. Louis airport. We'll probably grab lunch there. I forgot, we probably want to add a little bit of milk to this. So, no, no, don't put it on there, buddy. It all goes in there. So let's, how about you want to pour in this milk for me? You pour it right in there. Okay, good job. No, can I Well, you just got to kind of gently move it around, okay? Why? Well, because you don't want to get it out of the pan, is what I'm saying. Because if you go too hard, it's going to flop, splash out. But you can help, once we get it on, you can help us pinch the crust. How about that? But I want to put some on there, too. Well, no, because this goes on top of here. So we're not, we don't want to put anything on it. Here. Let's just, kind of messed up and forgot to add. So I would add... A half a cup to a can of milk to it, one of your soup cans, depending on how um, how thick or not thick can you want I it have to be. One of the donuts? Yes, you can. Craig, will you give Livy a donut? Where is that? They're on top of the toaster. But I highly advise you put the milk in when you still have it in this bowl. Okay. He got it. Okay. 
All righty. You want to lay this on top of it? Well, you can help pinch it, but okay? okay? Okay, you see what, this is what you do. You take your thumb and your finger, just like this, and then you, can you do this, Craig? No, you don't want to do it. You go like this. But if not, you can do it the other way. I'm doing it. Okay. It doesn't, it really doesn't have to be any certain way. You're just kind of sealing that, it Mama? to the, you're doing a good job. You need mm -hmm. to poke some holes in the top. Wait, I'm, wait, those guys are not good for me. Ooh. Here, that one's for you, so you can poke a hole too. Um, Here, no, do, in the middle though. Poke it in the oh, middle. You poke me when you, when you get me. I will How's do that? what? <laughs> poke you? That's good. Yep, just keep making little holes in it so the air can escape. All right, I think that's good probably. some over here too. All right, now we're going to take some egg white and we're going to brush it with some egg white just so we'll give it a nice brown when we, as it cooks. Oh, Craig, will you go downstairs and bring the egg, a carton of eggs up for me? Livy, can you tell everyone what you did in school today? Uh, um, 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 I can't remember what I was learning. You can't remember what you were learning? What did you play? Well, uh, I can't remember playing theater. You can't remember playing preschool? Well, okay. What did you well, make at preschool? No, uh, just... Oh, you want to say something? Well, it says one line and one line at the top and one line right here and one line right here. Oh. So I'll letter at that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe an F. Can you can you say shrimp on the Barbie? Shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> Today is Australia Day, so um, we're learning about Australia, and Australia is where kangaroos live. Yeah. Uh oh. Craig, Craig. Oh, there's no eggs. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have to put that on. But you know what we might do? No, it won't. It won't. I didn't know we were out of eggs. Dad just bought eggs. Okay. You know what we're going to do? One. Well, we don't need... We're going to melt a little butter. And we'll put it on. Craig, hey, Craig, it's not the end of the world because we're out of eggs. We don't really... The eggs were just to make it for decoration. So we're going to substitute. Instead of, yeah, instead of eggs, we're going to melt some butter and just brush it. Let's take a minute. I'll be fine. Okay, that's not anything to get so upset about. We know we need to add some eggs to our Walmart shopping list then. Well, we have to. We're going. We're going to melt it first. Okay. Okay. Do you want to melt it? Put it in the microwave for thirty seconds. Let's here, see. Uh, we might here. Well, let me see if I can. Oops. Craig, Craig, come up back over here in the picture, okay? Craig, and no squeeze. Hey, Craig. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was telling Livy. Okay, let's think about something else, okay? I was telling Livy that today is Australia Day. Can you tell her some animals that live in Australia? One I'd live in. No, tell kangaroos, koalas, crocodiles. Bandicoots, platypuses. What's your favorite animal that lives in Australia? The kangaroo. Yeah, kangaroos. Do you like kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like crocodiles because they would eat me up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get close to a crocodile. What is that song about a crocodile? Never. Well, some zoos have crocodiles in them. Mm hmm. Do you know that song? Can you sing the song, Never Smile at a Crocodile, Craig, for Livy? can't sing. Never smile at a crocodile. How's the rest of it go? Never tip your hand at those No, no, no squeezing. What could you do instead of squeezing? I don't know. Just calm down. Yeah. And go Maybe on. see if you could find a ball or something to squeeze instead of squeezing me. 
Yeah, just but you should just calm down because it's over, right? No. It's okay. You gonna put the milk away for me? That's good. That's a good. That's a constructive thing to do. Okay, and we got some butter on there, yep. and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay. okay. We've got our pie all ready. Should we? We open the oven door for me, Craig. We'll put it in the oven. And then we'll set the timer for 45 minutes and see if it's Alexa, done. Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. Here's a look at the tuna pot pie before we cut it. That's a big tuna pot pie, let me tell you. Let's see what Craig thinks of it. Come on, Craig. Oh, nice. Okay. What do you well, think? It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It's perfect. And since it's so hot, it's definitely a challenge to actually get it to look like a piece of pie, but it looks delicious. I like all the peas. <laughs> Craig's trying to get his tuna pot pie to cool off. And Libby's Down on her boy. second Danimal's coffee. <laughs> I'm getting mad up here. <laughs> As you can see, I've begun my Valentine decorating, but that's definitely not how it's supposed to be up there. I've just been setting stuff out. The only thing probably in its right place right now is the garland, which took me at least an hour to do. And don't mind the pillowcase on the back of the couch. It's because the dogs have dirty paws. Craig, are kookaburros from Australia? Yes. How's that song go? I don't know. You know the kookaburro song. Okay, what do you think of that pot pie? It tastes delicious. No, wait. Answer like with an Australian accent. It tastes delicious, mate. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so silly. I got these yesterday. When Craig and I were at Walmart, they are, look, they're suckers for cats. You want to see if Bug wants to lick it? Yeah, her? Yeah, let's open it up and see. Is, it, is her name Bug? Mm-hmm. Bug, Bug likes treats. And I think Bug likes it. You have to hold it so she can lick it. She loves it. <laughs> she does. I don't think she knows what to do. You like a bug? Yeah, she wants to hold it up for her. She loves lollipops. She does. <laughs> these are not for persons. Yeah, these are just for cats. And here's Wait, down, tea. You're giving her tea? Oh, you're <laughs> knock it off on the floor, bug. <laughs> you're going to knock it off on the floor. Over here. <laughs> Now I don't have blue. Can I move it so she can't get it? Mm. Red? Is he red? Here. <laughs> I guess he wants want one, one too. I'll get you one. <laughs> I think he wants to show everyone how she drinks her Danimals. Okay. Is that it? Here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that must have been strong. Hot coffee, right? No, cool coffee. Okay. You got me the best yeah. one ever. I did. Yeah. Libby calls them her coffees. I started it. <laughs> yeah. We go out and have our morning talks now. And get her coffee too. Okay, so. Oh, good night, everybody, and keep on having a great day.